U.S. military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Well, that was a risky move on their part. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't even know if you heard all of that or not. But yeah, anyways, I'm listening to the TV in the background. Welcome back here for part number three of our uh, Mass Effect 3 playthrough. And being that we're here now, let's go ahead and start messing around at the Citadel and see what we got. Other than a really cool view. And who the hell is Diana? Now we know who Avina is. Anything good? Hmm. Sorry to add something, but apparently not. Visit the council before leaving. All right, fair enough. That's how you leave. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. Do I know you? Duh. I am Avina, a fully interactive virtual intelligence. You're a VI? Yes. I provide guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. I'm not sure I did in the first place, but well, let me leave there. What about this way? You're not Garrus. All right. Mental note, he is not Garrus. We'll call him not Garrus from now on. Also not Garrus. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Let's head over to the infirmary. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Welcome to Serta. Ow, those are expensive. Wow, and then again, we have 35,000, so... Woo. Thank you Shop for coming all, to Serta. Huh? How can we help you? Extremely limited quality. All profits from sales huh. to help new medical research. CERTA is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take that too. All profits from sales go to help <laughs> new medical research. What in the fuck? Uh, bunches of books. What the fuck? Serta what? is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient It's bizarre. Life. We visited a store. That's an achievement. Wow, people. Wow. You just scanned me? I guess that's fair enough reasoning. Uh, all right. Touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required special binders. <laughs> I may or may not be walking on somebody. Not this way, most likely at least. Really tough to tell who's who in here, if anyone. Okay, that was a weird camera. Love the fact that I'm literally running in circles in here just to see what the fuck's going on. Uh, it's probably further in. Unless that's Ashley. Tough to tell. Nope, oh, that's her. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. 
I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay. I better get back to it. I'll see you soon. So that's the entirety of that. All right. I figured there might be more to that, but okay. Although I think she was awake for that, so... From the looks of things, she had her eye open or moved or something, so... We'll assume that she knows I was there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please, for one moment, please. Over to the Citadel and disease. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my friend. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. No, they... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am, but... The notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. And everybody's losing it already. Good to know. So we're already to that level. Uh, let's see. It's Commander Bailey. I didn't see names that we're looking for. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jelani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Don't care. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. At least a bucket of sunshine. I don't expect anyone to be, but... <laughs> right, so that's everything in here. Alright, so there's Councillor Dino. We can't go indeed there. Anybody else before we walk in? You don't do anything? Alright, screw it. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. 
The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense, and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And Adina's right. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander... I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. Okay. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Hmm. Well, that went well, considering. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Boy, he sounds so supportive. Oh, that's not a selectable thing. Never mind. Well, that'll be fun. Reaper variants, all right. And now we can get in here. Quarian fleet into oh, Quarian fleet. Hello, uh, Quarian pilgrim uh, Shenvolen uh, Valdela Varnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer for the er, from the fleet. Excuse me. Purchase tech including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters. 
Okay, so the pilgrimage was recalled. Huh. Corian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near uh, Perseus Vale. It could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Corians may instead be preparing for conflict with Geth. Good fucking times. Yo, I'm trying to click that. Uh, wow, those are expensive as fuck. Never mind, close that store. Jesus, those are really expensive. Shooting range, no thank you. That's Commander Bailey. Is that the first dude I talked to? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. What else you got? Uh, trouble? Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. <laughs> yeah, if it ever gets better. Yeah, this guy's just a straight-up bucket of sunshine. All right, so that was the first guy we saw. All right, so we know where the Corian fleet is, basically. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Good for them. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from you? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. What? <laughs> ha! You want some? Uh. Fuck that. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Damn. It had to be done, sadly, because she was being a bit of a bitch there. Like, oh, I'm sorry, what are you doing to help us again? Nothing? Oh, that's right, nothing. You might want to go to the hospital. It's on D4. Just just, just pointing in the right direction there. I'm getting D24 is where we're at, but, you know, she'll figure it out. She won't figure it out. Also, I love that you can't tell exactly what's going to happen until it just kind of happens. I wasn't really expecting to try to deck her twice, but, you know. Eh, Renegade! Eh. Is nightmares, isn't it? That, that might do it. <sighs> and fucking scarred. Good to know.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. I bet he would. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress.
Hack it out. Of course he is. Poor Paragon rating on that one. Uh, nothing else there. All right, so basically we can take off if we want to. Let's go yam around with some folks, though. Because there are some things we can do across here. Aw, oh, can we not? Okay, guess not. Guess we can't do that. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched, really, can you go? Okay. I'm sure we'd be guarding our own borders. I was gonna say, if I can't go through there, like I'm the commander of the fucking ship, if I can't go through this door, we're gonna have words. Whoever set this up, we're gonna have some words. <laughs> what the fuck, really? Hey, Commander. Hey, Joker. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Commander. Commander. Oh, man, that's all he's got already? All right. Wait, can we talk to Edie anywhere? No? Alright. Not that I really needed to, but I was curious. And that just stops because that's our way outside, which, you know, probably not a good idea to open that. Everybody would die. There's this problem called the airlock. <laughs> you know. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. I bet he would. Uh, let's head to... Uh, let's see. Let's head down to the crew deck. Probably should have figured out where the hell everything was first. Probably should have gone in order. <laughs> Model Destiny Ascension, alright. Bathrooms! Thought I saw that on the wall. That's the elevator. That's the elevator out of there. What do we got in here? Anybody? Anything? Nothing. Alright. Some of these rooms are just flat out fucking useless. Ooh, pretty view. Like how you can actually see the layer of stuff in the front moving. So that's why they have all the other spaces. You can probably fill those in completely. do too much in this room either. Dear God, man. But you think there'd be some more available to you already, but no. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go to engineering. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. 
Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well-balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And at time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Gonna have to like her. Kinda working with her. Plus two reputation. Alright. We're gonna need Tully in that engine room. I'm not... It's looking a little empty right now. I don't know. Just... It's a little empty. Locker. Oh wow, you can do all sorts of stuff in there. Nice. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? Makes sense. I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. From my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. That is procurement interface. That is weapons upgrades. Really? Let's see, that's not you. That's not, uh, actually that could be kind of useful. Yeah, we'll take that. Take that one. All right, I really hope I'm using the fucking vindicator. Um. Probably should have checked that first. <laughs> uh, let's see, squad. Uh, not what I wanted. Also, not what I want. Uh, confirm? Shit. Alright, well, couldn't need that somewhere else then. There we go. 
Alright, so that'll drop my accuracy considerably, but I can deal with that being the look at all the other stuff. Uh, it'll drop my weight down, up my capacity, my fire rate. Yeah, I can deal with that. Yeah, I really don't want that. Really don't want that. Of course, now I don't remember the damn name. Uh, fuck. I'm so terrible with names. So fucking terrible with names. Uh, you are the... Other one. Uh, adventure. Alright. Man, that one's good too. Which I should have put that one back in, actually. I'm not sure I did. Nope, I didn't. Alright, that'll give me a hell of a lot more accuracy, more damage, a little bit lower fire rate capacity, higher weight, but worth it in my book. Let's put that back in. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Now those are upgraded to hell. It's the new Rex. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the castle? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. <sighs> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> You already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. <laughs> okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. Ha, ha. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Tough choice. But it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. We took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You're a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. 
Oh, I won't forget. And you can call me whatever you want. Or who's in charge? <laughs> Interesting. And it's still catching up on the upgrades on the weapon. Anytime now. Anytime now. Hot dog. Um, wait, never mind. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. You're insane. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. And who else do we have? Anybody? How the hell did I get back up here? Guess I didn't even realize I was on the same floor. It looked really like exactly the same, but I don't I don't know why it just didn't click with me somehow that it was on the same floor. <laughs> Not really sure what I did there. Commander Shepard. Person who I don't know. God, that part's so slow to walk through. Anything cool? Oh, there is cool stuff. <laughs> the war terminal. Love the name. Uh, but. Still one more person I want to go find. Sometimes it'll open the doors for you, sometimes it won't. Like that one was automatic. Commander Shepard. Again, person, I don't know. That one was pretty much automatic, I would assume. Hope if I went the right way. Oh, that side's blocked off now. Never mind. Click the... Yeah, that. Thank you. Huh. Watch training videos. Review messages. Review squad abilities. Huh. Nice. We still got our fish. All's well. Yo, click. Thank you. Okay, so that's the same thing. Cool. Hmm. Alright, well, fair enough. We're going to head back up here, and before we actually take off and do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. So we will catch you all tomorrow where uh, we will actually take off and see what we got as far as the uh, the map goes here. So needed some music for this. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll obviously embark on our, uh, our actual mission, if you will, and uh, start getting underway here tomorrow. So again, thank you so much for all the support. Hope you're enjoying it, and uh, we will see you then.